What's up guys? It's Jules. It is time for a Stitch With Me in which I am somewhat unprepared, but I have some questions to ask of you guys today. I'm hoping you can help me out a little bit. We're going to work on Old World Map too because I stitched on this one about two hours last night and I made some progress and I wanted to continue my progress today. And I'm, first of all, I'm putting on my bears, my Chicago bear socks. But I wanted to ask you guys a question because I've got all this stitching to do. I've got so much stitching to do. And I'm finally feeling, like I told you about the other day, things are coming together. I'm feeling relaxed. Things are good. What I feel like I need is something that is going to help me stitch faster, especially on some of my very special projects. Okay, I just threw everything on the floor. That's okay. And I poked myself. That's okay. It's all okay. Oh. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm thinking it's almost time that I get like a Lowry stand or something. And I wanted to hear you guys' thoughts about this. Because I've put some up there. I put some up like on my links and stuff as you know, things that are recommended to me, like people are, people have told me in the past, you know, I should get a Lowry stand. And I get it. I totally get it. I think that on some projects, it would be a really good idea. And let's see what projects, like Rainy Waterloo Place, possibly this project, possibly Overall Map 2. Um, Dachshund right now, certainly. Uh... You know, there's just different projects that I absolutely think would be great because if I could stitch one-handed where I just have one hand underneath and one hand on top and I can just stitch a, the similar color like all the way through an area, I think it would actually speed me up quite a bit. And so do any... Whoops, I just pulled the... Hold on. I just pulled the plug out of the phone. And I need to charge the phone, so that's not good. Ugh. So do any of you guys have one of those? What do you guys think? I think I think that would be a really good idea. Come here. Oh, gosh. I think that would be a really good idea. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. But I'm thinking that may be a possibility for the near future. Let me pull this down here a little further. Oh, hello. That is really close. Hold on. Let me pull it back up. And then let me stabilize. Stabilize! I could have done this beforehand, but I'm just kind of like, oh, let's stabilize now. So you can see all the, the work I've done. I did a lot of this up here. I did a little bit up here. And I don't know if you can tell, but I did fill in some general stitching all throughout there. But I'm at a point where it is time to really get going. So my theory or my plan with Old World Map 2 is to work on ah to work on the top, to work on this part that it's so fast and easy for me to do. Work on this a bit while I'm still filling in this area down here. Once this area is filled in down here and then I fill this, I'm just going to go straight across. I'm going to go straight across and fill out the top row of this piece. I think that's the best way to go about this in terms of trying to somewhat accomplish what I thought or what I wanted to do from the get-go of this year, which was finish the top row of Old World Map 2. I'm excited, though. I really am. Things are coming together, people. Things are coming together. All right. Oh, I gotta pop my neck a little bit. Get myself in order. Hmm. Okay. Hope you guys are doing well. Hmm. Maybe I need to pull this a little bit. All right, let's let's try this stitching out first and just see how it goes. But yeah, I, I stitched on this one last night till about ten o'clock. I just felt like stitching last night. It was a good thing. I'm feeling it's crazy how, well, it's not crazy. It's obvious when I feel more relaxed, I feel more ready to stitch. And that's what I found here. 
I'm good. Okay, now that I got that part done, where am I now? Hmm. Hmm. All the way down to... And I don't have my... Do I not have my stitchy glasses up here? I have so much stuff. I bought a bunch of new things for the gecko and the hamster. Ooh, I have like half a pair of... Oh, there's my stitchy glasses. Here are my, my stitchers. Let me put this on. It's what I'm talking about. There we go. All right, you guys ready to get some stitching done? I am. So, no, I got a bunch of uh, vines and leaves and things like that for the gecko. He has been kind of in limbo. I don't know really if I'm not feeding him enough. He doesn't like what I have. Was it the lack of crickets in the diet for a while? I don't know. I don't really know. I am uh, still learning when it comes to him. So I bought him a bunch more cover. He's just been far more active since... Oh, you know what I did was I had the base of his cage. The base of his terrarium was part like this peat moss, like almost like a dust, a dark, a darkish dust kind of product that kind of like sand in a way. And then on top of that, I had... Um, What's the word? Um, it's like a peat moss kind of stuff. And the peat moss really held in moisture very strongly. And I think that made a big difference. In term I mean, I think at first it was good because it held in the moisture and kept things humid in his terrarium. But I think that ultimately what it did was, I'm using a really large needle for this today if you guys haven't noticed, but we'll make it we'll make it work um, but he uh, I think that it kind of created too much moisture and there was a little bit of mold that was happening in his in his terrarium and since I took I took that out like maybe a week ago or so like when I got home from my trip I was like man I can really tell that it stinks in here it's way too moist so I took it out and once I took it out oops sorry guys once I took it out, it felt like he was far more active and did really well. I'm going to let the birds stay uncovered today because I feel like they need that kind of help. They need some interaction. They're saying, talk to me, lady. All the animals are going nuts. The birds are chirping. The hamster is chewing on the front of this kennel thing, whatever. The... Gecko is right on the front of his cage, his terrarium. It's crazy here. It's absolutely crazy. Oh, I did that wrong. Where are you? There we go. There we go. All right, now we're cooking with Crisco here. Now we're getting everything squared away. And here, all right, I don't feel like I have enough light in here right now, but I'll make do. I wonder if I can, hold on, let me see if I can turn my light on on top of my, there we go, Let's see if this helps. Eh, I don't know if it helps a whole lot, <clears throat> but it does something. Anyway, oh, I'm tired. Apologize for all the sleepiness on the uh, video the other day. My husband was like, man, you were tired. I'm like, yeah, I was tired. I was super tired. I was like, I was ready to go to bed when I got home on Wednesday. This, the Just the release from the stress and the pressure for months and months was ready to let me go to sleep. But, hello. Oh, my hands are all... Right, break. Hold on. 
Hey, uh, Princess Leia. Princess! She's still trying to chew her way out. The hubby went and created a new side path for her. Put some, uh, what you call it, new tunnels and stuff for her off the side. But she hasn't discovered them yet. They really don't go anywhere. They kind of go in a circle and back into her kennel, or back into her cage. So they don't really go anywhere. But I'm hoping at some point she discovers them and goes, oh, let's explore. Something to do. All right. But anyway, so yeah, so I think I'm about ready for a lottery stand. I think that's going to be something that I want to move into. and uh, Or a lottery stand or something similar. I think that would be good. Oh, man. Just in the old back. Oh, I didn't bring up a highlighter. That's okay. No worries. Man, I keep tossing this thing around. I'm sorry, guys. Here, hold on. There we go. I don't feel like I was very well prepared to start working on this project today. Uh, what are you going to do, though, you know? Some days you just got to jump in and do it. I finally got to sleep. I, when I got back from Georgia, I think, what was it, Sunday when I got back... And then Sunday night, I slept a few hours. I just felt weird. And then Monday, I was really stressed. Really didn't sleep a whole lot. Tuesday, I slept better. Wednesday, I mean, it just got better every month. Or every month. Every day. Which was good. I was happy. But, man, I gotta tell you, I was just... It's crazy. It's a crazy week. One of the craziest, most busy weeks ever. All right, so we're going to use 3078. It's a little cold in here, too. I need to get the heat on so I can help out the uh, help out the critters here. But I'm going to pull out 3078 here. There's a lot to stitch. I'm going to trim some back, too. So the reason why I'm thinking now about getting a stand of some kind is because I feel like if I could stitch two-handed, I could be faster, a lot faster with how I stitch. And I'm at a point where I want to just try and speed up my stitching as much as I can. Because if I can speed up my stitching, I get more done, obviously. Go start saying. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this big old black hair right there. I'm gonna blame Fargo for that one. I'll put this one in here. But this is probably all the stitching I'm going to do on Old World Map 2. Like, once I get this stitch with me done, I'm probably going to move on to some other things for this week. Although, I could stitch more. But, eh, between two nights of stitching, I'm probably okay with that. I want to get some more Waterloo placed on. I almost feel like if I got some kind of a stand, a stitching stand, and started really just focusing on rainy water place, like I'd get so much more done. Sorry guys, I'm like all over the place. I feel like I need to raise this up, hold on. Let's raise this up so you guys can see without this thing flying all over the place. All right.
Hmm. But I'm tired. There's a lot going on. I actually slept in today, which I think all the way to like 7 o'clock or something, which was crazy for me. But I felt so much better having done that. So much better. Oh, and I found a new YouTube channel that apparently I am like obsessed. Not obsessed. I, let's not say obsessed because that sounds bad. That I am like eager to watch more videos of. And it's funny because it's a car detailing place. So it's this guy that details cars, cleans cars out, every little aspect of it. And so I actually got a couple of different cleaning implements that he uses. And part of it is to clean the cars and part of it is to clean the inside of our house. If you guys have seen any of our dog videos and whatnot, there are areas of our stairs that are like stained a bit. And it's the dog's fault. And trying to clean those areas is so hard. It's so hard. My hands are cold. My hands are cold. But that's where we're at right now. I'm like trying to warm my hands up. Doop 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 doo doop 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 Right here. And then up here. I need to track down some of my specialty threads and get to work back on my specialty thread projects. Because that would be fun. Where are you? trying to do a smarter job about especially getting this old world map 2 done just need to get more stitching done period period I didn't do a blog, or a vlog, I should say, yesterday. I just didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like I had anything to contribute. And I didn't want to do a vlog just for the sake of doing a vlog. Um, I've got so much to do that I just can't... Oh, I just can't do that kind of thing on a regular basis. Unless I really have something to contribute. And I just didn't. I did not. I was so busy. I know, that's all I talk about. <sighs> I wonder if I ever bought that B pattern that was the... I don't think I did. That was the um, steampunk theme, theme kind of thing. I need to do that. I need to do that. As much as I like the Hade honeybee portrait... The steampunk bee is really cool. I need to get some smaller needles. I think I just need to order some needles, period. Yeah, what am I trying to... I worked on Reaper, and I worked on this piece, and I worked on Dachshund, and I really need to work on some Rainy Waterloo. There's so many different things I need to work on. And I think tomorrow I can totally do that. Tomorrow is definitely a stitching kind of a day. I'm waiting for like a really big snowstorm. I think that would be cool. I would love to be snowed in for a couple of days. As long as nobody else was affected. You know, like, you know, with business, business was closed. That's okay if we can manage it. But 
a little bit of a bit of a break. Or maybe I just take a break. That could be it too. Ah, get in there. Ah. It's funny when the needle just... This needle is way too big for this project. And I could not tell you what size needle it is, but it is way too big for this project. I'm trying to... I mean, gosh, if you've been watching me for a while, I lose needles like nobody's business. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy how fast I lose needles. So I need to get some more needles. I need to warm my hands up. It's hard to cross stitch when you have crop when you have cold hands, you know? It's just kind of ridiculous. Right, birds? Oh. And the fish downstairs are doing okay, which is a good thing. Uh, while I was gone. <laughs> my uh, hubby Mark was look oh man, I did it again. I'm sorry guys. My hubby Mark was looking at the uh, was paying attention to the fish and noticed how mean that the uh, parrot fish were being to each other. I was like, yeah, that's how they've been for like two years now. He would, he got all mad at him, and I'm like, yeah, that's how that's why I get all mad at him. Cause one's beating up the other, and then they beat up something else, and I totally don't recommend them. I mean, they're full of personality, but I don't like them. They're just meanies. Don't like meanies. I got this junk. Let me see if I can't pull it apart here and see if I can use it. If not, just, yeah, forget that. I'm just going to go on and use something new. Ah, let's see. It's mid to late October. So we're getting closer to doing that all important end of year review, which sadly is not going to be a very good review. Well, not going to be not going to be a, a review in which there is a lot of progress. Let's say it that way. This year has easily been the most stressful year of the last say 5. But it's a good thing. It's a good thing, trust me. It's going to be awesome. Let's see, we still have this. That's way over here. <laughs> I wish I didn't have such large. Here, let me turn this. I wish I didn't have such large needles. Uh, they're great for like 14 count. For 18 count, they're just not that great. Fall is here. Even though I missed the first snow, fall is definitely here. I love it. It's the best. Best time of the year, people. Uh oh, everybody goes barking. Everybody's barking and. So, I need to send an email out or two, but we're at a point now where I don't think we're going to be selling any more honey. Uh, we are literally, we have, used, we have used so much honey. We, I think we had over 150 bottles when it started a month ago. 
And honestly, we were a little worried about what we would end up with. And what we ended up with is a ton of honey. And a ton of honey, both between honey sales and honey giveaways. We gave a lot away to family and friends and just some special people that have helped us out. And to the rest of everybody, we sold a bunch. We, we sold enough to pay off our expenses for the year, which is saying a lot. It's the first year that I think we're going to even remotely come close to paying for our expenses. And considering how much we've put in, well, how much we've put in, this is it's nice this year. It's such a good year for honey. And I don't know if we're going to end up like that next year, but oh boy. Here's some seriously good stuff. And those of you who got it, comment below and let everybody know how amazing it is. Even for the price. Oh, I gotta warm my fingers up. My fingers are cold. Right? Righty birds? Right, birds? You guys are just so happy. I think I've had you now for almost two years. Is it two years? It's at least a year. I'm pretty sure it's two years. Is it two years? I have no idea, guys. No idea. Ow! Ooh, I just stabbed myself with a pen. Or with a needle. Oh, no, I didn't. I stabbed myself with a push pen. Oh, that was not good. Ouch. That hurt. All right, do I have a highlighter up here? I don't think I do. Let me look real quick. I have so much stuff. Yeah, that's all right. No worries. I have so much stuff. Oh, let me fix this. Can you tell how much more I've gotten? I mean, I've filled in a lot of this tan area here, a little bit down here. I just need to fill in the rest of it. But it's time to, you know, get some other stitching done, so... That's the good news. All right, then we're going to same color here. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Ba dum bum 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 ba dum. All right. Just gotta make sure. Oh, boy. Gonna get another good night's sleep tonight. Still have to go into work tomorrow. Do some paperwork-oriented things. Hubby's gonna work on the yard. We're just gonna do a little tune-up on everything. And... Good to go. And then hopefully be back by like 9 or 10 o'clock and just relax for the rest of the day. Well, I say relax, but I'm going to be working on stuff. Oh, man. I still need to strengthen my back. My back is better, but it needs to be strengthened even more because it's still hurting me. Hmm, wait, which stitch am I doing? I'm like, wait a minute, I've already forgotten. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna go way down here. So all the way like here. Yeah, all the way down here. Hmm. gonna really start looking like something which was the theme for 2019 the year things start to look like something and it's not it's not wrong 
It's just things should have looked more, a lot more like something that it ended up doing. So, But that's okay. The great thing about cross stitch is that it's always there for you. It's always there. And five. And skip. There, and there. Well, hooray. Oh, man, I keep, I keep gripping everything so tight. That's why, that's another reason why I think that a stand would really help. Because then I won't need one as much. I think I'm going to move the kitchen table. It's been in the living room or the front room for a while, right in front of the uh, aquariums. But I think we're going to move that because it makes the front room look so cluttered. Where's my skeezers? And there is that. Oh, I'll take the glasses off. I might need to stretch for a little bit just to finish this out. Let's see, where are we? Okay, I went and stretched for a little bit, relaxed my bike, relaxed my bark, and we're going to do a little bit of a darker color to elucidate the lettering, the Latin lettering that is across here, but, oh, I just had to stretch for a little bit. Stretch, which is a good thing. Come here, you. Come here, you. It's a little chilly. Is it a little chilly up here, birds? So what we have to end up doing in the wintertime, like we did last year, was we have to close up a lot of registers in the house in order for everything to focus on the birds. The birds. Let's see. We're going to do this one here. Yes. Well, that really that made me feel a lot better is stretching out. I almost fell asleep. Came really close, but it always happens on a Saturday afternoon after work. But oh that's a good that's a good bit. Down here. What Merc? I'm gonna do this right here. really need to track down. I don't know. I might need to get a new desk. I hate to say that because the desk I have is okay, but it's just small. And I need to... Ooh, I think that's it. That's it for this color. Hmm, that's interesting. On other pages at the top with the lettering, there was a lot more of this color. So you can tell that things are changing with this color. But... What was I just saying? What was I just saying? Um, 
Oh yeah, the desk part. It's funny how many people like get rid of desks for free or for very little money on like Facebook and even Craigslist. I like Facebook though because they get it's better pictures on Facebook. <laughs> Let's go to 745 people. There's a lot more stitching to do on 745. Oh, hello. Look, I only have this tiny little piece. Shall I use it? I think I shall. I think I shall. Because I have it. Why not use it? Oh, anyway. So, although, honestly, let me just throw that away. That's going to be a waste of my time. It's going to take so much more to stitch with that tiny little piece. It's going to just not going to be a good return on my time investment. But anyway, um, what was I saying about stitching? Ah. What's up, birds? They both moved over by where I'm at. Oh, yeah, I got so I got to close all the registers and I can turn the heat on. I know, boys. I know. It's getting cold, isn't it? I love it. Sleeping. Nice and cold. Tucking in at night. Gosh, we get to bed at like ridiculous times. 8, 8.30. It's kind of funny how early we get to bed. Alright, so 7.45 is an up arrow. So, it's an up arrow. Where am I stitching? Let's see, we've got these three here. And we've got, okay, that's there. Should I go all the way up here and stitch and just stitch down? I think that's a good idea. Um, okay, that there is good. Okay. So then we've got this. One, two, four. One, two, one, one. All right, let's do this here. Just go nice and slow. But yeah, I think I need to buy the Steampunk Bee. And... I don't know. I definitely have bought less... I think I've bought less... Ah! I think I have bought less projects this year than I did last year. You guys can tell me for sure. But it'll be interesting when I do the end of year review. 2020 preview. I thought I was going to get so much more done, but that's okay. Sometimes that is just how it is. I feel like the, definitely this needle is way too big for this project, for this 18 gauge, 18 count project. It's way too big, but it is what it is. I'm gonna go way over here. Because apparently I need to stitch them over here. Nice. Why not? Why? Over here, one, two, three, four, five. A lot of stuff going in up here. Oh, cramping my hands. I'm telling you, everything was like pointing to me getting a new, um, getting some kind of a stand because it feels like I can't handle it I can't handle it which is just sad I used to be so strong I'm gonna sleep really good tonight here's the funny thing I don't know if you guys are like this but I try not to nap too much but the one thing that will get me to nap more than anything is if I feel like my body like my muscles are tired or 
they're just screaming for for uh, some extra sleep to rejuvenate. Because when I got back from my trip, and we were just there's so much that we're doing. Ah, we had a. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't sleeping well. My body just felt weird and bad. And and then Thursday, my day off. I had a very very early meeting, like 6 a.m. meeting online, and then or phone interview. I should say not phone interview, but just phone message, phone uh, phone meeting. Let's just call it phone meeting, and. So I did all that, and then by about noon or 1 o'clock, I had a, a 3 o'clock meeting to go to, and I thought, wow, I think I'm just going to take a nap because my body was just aching and just screaming for some sleep. So I took some, I took a, I don't know, I think I slept off and on for about an hour and a half. And that was pretty good. And I woke up and I felt a lot better about everything, a lot more rejuvenated. And I felt like I I caught up, and then that night I finally slept really well, so I was super excited about that. So now I feel like I'm sort of back in the groove. I slept good last night. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Even though I gotta go to work tomorrow for just a little bit, no big deal. Cause then I have the rest of the day off. Yeah, yells. Man, my hands are. I'm asleep. It's not a good thing. Shaking. Shaking like a bacon. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Where am I? I am right there. So, I could do this one right here. And then, space. The only thing I really worry about with a cross stitch stand is what my dogs might do to it. If I have it in a place where they might chew, because they are so bad about chewing things they shouldn't, and I just don't want to give them that opportunity to fail. But I don't know. Anyway, I'll have to just take a look and see what's up out there. What is out there? Adventure is out there. And here. Ah. I'm gonna watch some hockey tonight. I've been watching a lot more hockey than football, that's for sure. That's for sure. Oh, I did that already. Hello. Hello. I'm going to go way up here. Way up here. It's got to be good close to like... 5.30, maybe? Hope I can get this up and done tonight. Hmm. 
Stayed up a little bit later last night. I stayed up to like, what time was it? 10 o'clock? Because I was in a stitchy mood with this piece. So that was pretty fun. Sometimes you just get in the mood. I need to track down all my needles. And I need to buy some new needles. Oi. Oi is right. Oi. Oi. Oh, hello. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three. Here we go. Ah! I'm gonna stick myself. Ah! Pulled it out of the dog next door. The neighbor dog is barking. Oh. Almost pulling my thread out of my needle, my flouse out of my needle. But boy, I've got a lot done this uh, week on this piece. Pretty happy with that. Puppy's probably coming upstairs to find out why I'm still stitching. Hi, honey. Mercury's like, I must be fed. You're here, I must be fed. Why do you still have your shoes on? I know, I'm changing. Okay, good. All right. I think there's that. And then we're gonna go over to up here. One, two, here we go. Good deal, good deal. Woof, 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 woof. Ah! Here we go. One, two, three, four. I need a good night's sleep tonight. I'm definitely going to bed early. Feels like I just woke up this morning, too. Everybody's barking all of a sudden. Mercury's eating. He's a happy little camper. And then... One, two, three, four. One... Oof. Oof and logging is all I gotta say. Oof and logging. Boy, I could go to sleep right now. I need to exercise more. For sure. Okay. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take this right here. What's up, Ma? What's up, babies? What's up, babies? Cowboy, sailor. I'm gonna do this one right here. Ah, pull out. He's trying to finish because he eats his spinach. Once I get down to this a little bit, I am going to just walk through some other stitching stuff. I'm not going to stitch any more on this because my back is killing me. Oh, my back. Gotta strengthen my back, man. But we got a lot done this week on this piece, so it's a good thing.
Let's, I need to go downstairs. Turn on the heat. Turn off all. I'll do that. I'll do that, guys. I promise. I got first. I gotta find my headphones because I love my little MP3. Not MP3. My little Wi-Fi headphones. Yep, I do. You know I do. It just makes me just kind of chill. And there are the dogs barking. And it helps cancel out Fargo, which is the dog that you hear more than anything right now. It's a Fargo canceling headphones. I need to put some lotion. Put some lotion on my hands. Everybody's getting all fuzzy. It's getting all fuzzy downstairs. Wow. It sounds like a couple of the dogs are getting the zoomies. The zoomies are what the dogs feel towards the end of the night. They get all zoomy. I wonder if he's going to the park. He might be going to the park, and if he's going to the park with the dogs, that's why they're going crazy. So, as you can see, get more done here, filling in more up here. We're good there. Let's put this aside for a second. Oh man, what do we got? What do we have? What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? I won't. Oh. Let's pull out old Rainy Water the Place because that one needs to get some good attention tonight. This one needs to get some good attention. I need to focus on all of this. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me take off. Let's see. Should I do any Chicago Bears? You know what, Bears? You know what? I've got plenty of rings or plenty of hoops downstairs that I can use, but I'm going to work on this one tonight. And then I've got, what is that behind? Is that Top Carry Shop? It sure looks like it. Or is it baseball? And I think it's baseball. Let me put my, oh, let me get my uh, crafty bag out here. Put some, put some stuff in here. Whoops, as I throw things around. Let me throw things around too. Get some old goodies. Get some old goodies. Oh, there we go. Alright, guys. So I got all my crossage collectible pieces. And I'm stretching. I'm stretching my back out. Thank you so much for watching. We are working on. If you guys are newish, we're sort of like right here. Wait, is that where we are? Yeah, L-O-C. So we're right here. I don't think we're going to make it to the end of the page. By the end of the year, uh, as far as the entire row across, but we are going to try and do this part all the way across. Whoops, you guys can't even see this. Hold on. My hands are so dry. Um, so we're right here. So we're going to try and see if we can't fill all this in all the way across. But that is asking for a lot. Some days it's just crazy in here. It's like a virtual zoo. It is a zoo. It's not a virtual zoo. It is a zoo. But anyway, thanks for watching. I am going to grab some of these other pieces, take them downstairs, and start stitching on those tonight. And hopefully I'll have some good progress this week. I keep bouncing back and forth with how I do things and whatnot, but honestly, it's just my life is so chaotic with primarily with work to be honest with you and all the requirements that have been laid upon me or I've laid upon myself but the other thing I want to do is um, 2020 will definitely be the year that I get back on track with this and get some other things done I've got to get some projects done I, mean, I really do I've got so much to do Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, but I'm going to look for a stand. I don't know if I'll buy one by Thursday, but I definitely am going to look for one. I am going to do a video about a cross-stitching cross -stitching pattern site here soon for Monday. And we're going to get back on track. I don't think I have any trips left for the rest of the year. So I hopefully can finish, not finish, but hopefully I can get back in the groove and finish the year in a strong, in a strong groove. So we'll see. 
You guys have a great day. And I will see you later. I'm going to go stitch. Take care. Bye.